So let us talk about the Nissan girl today and the, uh, oh, we're not allowed to fix our cars thing that's going on here. I'm going to go into some little bit of detail on this, but yeah, unfortunately this young lady was fed some really bad BS. Either the shop didn't want to do the job or the shop did not have the tools to do the job or just didn't want to deal with her, but there's something more to it because uh, there's a lot of BS and hoo-ha. And I'm going to go in depth on why this is. Now, my friends, there's the Right to Repair Act, okay? You have the right to repair your vehicle. You have the right to purchase the tools. You have the right to purchase the parts. You have the right to purchase the software. You have the right to purchase the manuals. There's no one that can say you cannot fix your car. There's no one that can tell you that you cannot buy these parts. You cannot buy these tools. You cannot buy these manuals. But you have to buy them because these things cost money to manufacture produce create engineer and, and yeah so you don't get these things for free you have to pay for them and if you go to a shop and they say oh i can't do this then they're either lazy cheap or not a real shop okay like this whole entire thing is bs like anyone anyone can go to the fca gateway for Dodge, Nissan, Chrysler, Subaru, and get access as long as you have a scan tool that supports it. And that means you have to buy the proper scan tool to use it. These things are not free. You do not get free in this world. Don't expect to get this stuff for free ever because it costs money to make. If companies started giving all this stuff for, out for free, then they go bankrupt. Literally, it would bankrupt them. That's how much it costs to make this stuff. Okay, so yeah, it, like it's it's like you going go, go, going and go, go, going in and going. Well, I need a wrench and a socket and and a screwdriver to fix this. You got to give it to me for free so I can do my fix my car. I have my right. I have the right to fix my car. So you got to supply me the tools to do it. No, you got to buy those things. So yeah, th there's a whole lot of BS in this. And it's causing uproar and a panic to everyone and stuff like that. But yeah, she, she was reportedly misinformed. Or she's just trying to stir stuff up. But yeah, it's absolute BS. Any shop, any shop out there should be able to do that job. They should have an FCA gateway account. And that's easy, auto authority, $50 a year. $50 a year, that's cheap. Okay, and a, and, and a decent scan tool, any half decent scan tool, like Launch, Autel, even X-Tool now. X-Tool's on the list. Snap-on, bam. And most of these vehicles, you actually don't need the gateway. It's only on specific vehicles from Dodge and Chrysler that require that, and that's mostly only for security systems. And the reason why they have that is to decrease auto theft. Like, like, yeah, you want this thing in place so that way not any Tom, Dick, and Harry can walk up to your car with a scan tool, unlock it, and steal it. That's why they have these things. It's a security gateway to prevent auto theft and help assist with auto theft and also tracking. So that way if something goes wrong with your car or you get locked out of your car, like, a lot of BS here. But don't fall for all this crap and stuff like that. And yes, right, you guys are getting carried away with the right to repair thing. Because next thing you know, you're going to be asking for, for, for the shops to let you use the hoist for free. You're going to be asking the shops to let you use their jacks for free. What's next? Like, like, you, like you already won. Every single individual in, this, in, this country, in these countries have the right to purchase said tools, said parts said software said manuals but you do not have the right to get them for free never so yeah so the, yeah this this whole entire thing she went to a bad shop that either didn't want to deal with her too lazy didn't have a scan tool that could do, that that was capable of learning it or they're just not a real shop so yeah it's not dealer only that's absolute BS. Don't buy into BS. Listen to the truth.